I mean, yeah. that, I mean you can't make this up. And then you have the, the State Department Memorandum 200 saying we'll use wars and pestilence and starvation to do it. Go ahead. Absolutely. I mean, this, this whole thing with these epidemics and all the rest, uh, you know, some of these things are natural. I mean, they do happen. In, in, but when you start seeing them on a regular basis, intercoordinated with a lot of other things going on, it's not a coincidence. They're deliberately doing it for some unknown reason. Well, we know what the reason is. They want to gain control, basically reduce the human population and control every Stay single there, thing doctor. they do. I'm gonna chase the sky forever. Ladies and gentlemen, if you study history and other civilizations, the elites just to exercise power would routinely say, kill all the firstborn. Or they'd say, go kill half the slaves. Got to keep the slave numbers down. Got to keep them dumbed down. Got to keep them on the verge of starvation. So they're so busy worrying about getting enough to eat, they won't resist you. This is how elites manage people. In fact, in the next segment, will you cue up Holdren with that AP clip of him talking about weather control? That's another issue is in some of these eugenics reports, they say they'll use wars, famine, and weather. And then we have Secretary of Defense Cohen at the time in 97 saying they'd use weather weapons for this. I can show folks Army.mil, the, the, the text. And then I've had, uh, but, but now Bill Gates is in the news. In the Associated Press today, Bill Gates envisions fighting hurricanes by manipulating the sea. Well, that's exactly what Stanford Research Institute certified a long time ago. My point is, they're using the shadow government and all these high-tech systems. I believe, Dr. Kaufman, that, that they're going to create weather calamities uh, as a pretext for creating the society of control because they've, they've studied chicanery and scams of old. And the old witch doctors, 6,000 years ago, they would tell the tribe, give me the best food, give me the best hut, or the snake god won't spit the sun out. Well, he just knew when the eclipse was coming, and he was manipulating them. And that's all this is, is con artist criminals uh, who also like to be sadistic killers doing what every other elite's done. It's just a high-tech version. That's right. I totally agree with you. There is no question that... Uh, climate modification and control is very much part of this agenda. The, the, uh, there's been major experiments done on that in Alaska, uh, and we have seen some evidence of that. You know, it's hard to say for sure exactly how they do it and when they do it. I'm not a physicist, but I do know that they, they actually interrupt the ionosphere, and the ionosphere is where our weather is born. So if they can control what happens there, they basically control uh, climate to a greater or lesser degree. It's just one of those things that all of these things, I don't care if it's eugenics, it's climate control, it's um, legislation like cap and trade, the, the health care bill, whatever it is, it's all coordinated to achieve a certain goal that you have been describing during this hour. Well, every day, uh, no exaggeration, I think today I printed off five or six or so mainstream articles. With, oh, Bill Gates is going to save us from hurricanes. He just got an idea of cloud seeding. He invented it. Oh, he's a genius. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. four years ago, I had the father of weather weapons on the show who was doing this in uh, Korea and Vietnam, Ben Livingston, and it was declassified. They were creating, steering, killing, weakening, whatever they wanted, hurricanes certified by the U.S. government in 67. And then now Holdren comes out like he's some genius and says they've just invented this and that it's his idea. So they all, it's like Al Gore saying he invented the Internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I mean, there's no end to it. And then all these newspapers and magazines I have say, oh, the, the global warming's so bad they've got to save us. And they're going to now smokescreen their weather manipulation, creating the crisis mm -hmm. in the name of fixing it. So while they're creating a crisis, droughts, hurricanes, all this stuff, floods, they're going to cover their own operation in that they're fixing it. And exactly what we said they were doing with the chemtrails, with the, with the barium and aluminum dioxide, now that's what they propose in the Wall Street Journal and Atlantic Monthly and other publications and an AP that they're going to do to save us. Now, how did we just imagine the chemtrails were barium salts and aluminum dioxide with all these climatologists we had on, and then Dr. Kaufman, it ends up magically, they go, oh, yeah, we've been doing secret test programs. All this giant global-level terraforming was just a test. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You know, I, I talked about the 
Wildlands Project and what the Convention on Biological Diversity was going to do for five years before it was finally introduced in the U.S. Senate. Nobody believed a word I said, and here it is now 10 years after the fact, or 15 years after the fact now, and it's full-blown. It's doing everything that I said it was going to do back in the late 1980s. Uh, you and I have both done this where we have predicted, based on what we've seen, the, the papers and so forth, of what is their planning behind the scenes that is sooner or later, within 5 to 12 to 15 years, going to be mainstream. And you can't get people to believe it because it wasn't published in the New York Times. Amazing. Uh, we've got a long segment coming up, and I want you to talk about the fact that we can beat this and fight it because you've done that single-handedly before. You've been doing this for decades. And you did warn about the wetlands. Now we have the uh, yes. Water Quality Restoration Act that federalizes basically the whole country. They're really making their move. But the good news is we're aware of it, thanks to you and others. We're going to be able to fight them. The new video is Global Warming, Emerging Science and Understanding. Hot off the presses. Get this now at Infowars.com. not accuse the establishment of not thinking big. Terraforming the planet, controlling the weather, and they're keeping us like ignorant savages that don't even know what the sun is. And then Holdren talking about putting up satellites and blocking out the sun and all this craziness. The point is they want to play God. They want you to live in an engineered society. There's an article out of a mainstream magazine in the 1940s. We can control the weather. And it describes exactly how they do it. And there is a massive program of this going on. This is 1944. And uh, just incredible, absolutely incredible. And it gets into cloud seeding. I want to play the White House czar, a clip from the Associated Press. This is not Alex Jones saying this. I want to play this clip of John P. Holdren, the eugenicist. And he is a eugenicist, there's no doubting. Just like an end game, I accused the head of the Human Genome Project of being a eugenicist because I'd read his writings. No one had ever publicly called him one. And then a year after end game came out, it came out that Mr. Watson said blacks weren't human, were basically subhuman. And now it's come out they are taking your blood at birth for 36 years illegally for the Human Genome Project. It's a giant eugenics front. Sure, they can get some secondary science from it, and I think it's fine, but they're using it for race-specific Bioweapon development. We're going to get Dr. Michael Coppin's take on that and some of the things he's been fighting in this uh, Clean Water Restoration Act that federalizes anything that has water above or below ground, puddles of water, uh, and uh, the Rewilding Act and these wilderness corridors on the rivers. That's all coming up. But here is Holdren to the AP. And notice on the video in the background by the American flag on the shelf is EcoScience, the textbook he wrote for government. A plan of a planetary tyranny to sterilize you. For, for over a decade, we found some government documents about high-altitude high spraying, these aerosol campaigns. People call them chemtrails. We got called kooks, and there are some kooks that point at a regular ice trail and you know say it is a trail when it isn't. But trails at 2,000 feet don't, don't condensate and sit there and get bigger for five hours. You know, Real ice trails, real... Real contrails disappear in just a few minutes. There's a massive program going on, and they admit it now. If you just Google these terms, all these universities, Department of Energy, NASA brags, oh, look, the Earth's 20% darker, satellite photos of the whole country covered. They really are revenge of the nerd scientists who happen to be eugenicists on wild power trips, Dr. Michael Kaufman. Again, there's no question of that. It's just phenomenal. When you get back to the chemtrail issues, I'm not an expert on chemtrails, but what I do know is that they're high enough elevation that they actually form kind of a cirrus cloud formation. Now, if you know the politics and the science of global warming, my man caused global warming, this is what they have predicted right from the very beginning. It's inherent in every single mo uh, climate model that there is. It's at about six miles in elevation. What you find is that more cirrus clouds are formed, which trap the heat. It's a positive feedback mechanism. I'm not going to get more complicated than that or you won't understand it. But no, the Earth needs this as its shield. Explain. Go ahead and give people the science. It basically says that with 
Now, first of all, you have to understand the carbon dioxide itself cannot trap much more heat. Very, very small percentage, a couple percent, and that's about it. Because it's the wavelengths, the wave bands that it traps heat in are already saturated. So it cannot do much more. Therefore, the little that it does do, they claim, are going to create more clouds, more uh, thunderstorms, which when they decay, they create more cirrus clouds, cirrus clouds, trap the heat, low elevation rain clouds reflect the heat or the sun, just the opposite, it's a negative feedback. In a positive feedback in the cirrus clouds, the radiation emitted by the earth is trapped again and remitted down. That means that the upper atmosphere heats faster than the earth's surface. And this is well explained in our second DVD, the Emerging Science, Global Warming Emerging Science DVD that Alex now has. Uh, it is Absolutely night and day. What the models predict was going to happen the last 40 to 50 years and what has actually happened, they're not the same at all. It's 